The Enforcement Directorate on Friday attached three hotels in Delhi valued at around Rs 100 crore under Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 in connection with the PMC bank fraud case. The three hotels that have been attached by the agency belong to the Fab Hotels Group and are located in Kailash Colony, east of Kailash and Kalkaji areas of the national capital. The Rajya Sabha yesterday passed a bill to reduce salaries of MPs and ministers by 30% for one year in order to meet the exigencies arising out of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Salaries and Allowances of Ministers Bill 2020, which will reduce salaries of ministers, including Prime Minister, was also moved in the Upper House. India ordered its states not to hoard oxygen supplies and allow free movement amidst reports of shortages, as novel coronavirus infections hit 5.2 million yesterday, edging the country's tally closer to the United States, which is the worst hit globally. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates in an interview has reiterated his concern for climate change. Gates said that the government did not look out despite the warnings and that climate fits the same paradigm as coronavirus. Sadly, the problem gets worse and worse and there isn't a solution like a vaccine where you can spend tens of billions of dollars and bring it to a close. No, climate change is much harder. The damage that will be done every year will be greater than what we've seen during this pandemic, he said. Even as several reports point out the accelerated adoption of cloud, the latest report by IT industry body NASCOM expects India's public cloud market to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 30% over the next five years led by small and medium businesses. India's public cloud market, which currently stands at Rs 17,000 crore, is expected to reach around Rs 63,000 crore by 2025. In what may come as the most surprising turn of events, the US has said it will ban TikTok and WeChat from the app stores this Sunday. If the Trump administration finally has its way, ByteDance's controversial app TikTok will be removed from the Google Play Store and Apple's App Store in the US. WeChat will also meet the same fate as its other unlucky counterpart that has been mired in various controversies.